When Hurricane Ian was approaching the Gulf Coast, South Florida water managers were releasing hundreds of thousands of gallons of water from our canals in anticipation for heavy flooding from the storm. But dumping all that filthy water could have a devastating impact on fragile Biscayne Bay. This past weekend, I joined FIU scientists on the bay as they tested the water quality. Saving Biscayne Bay post Ian is tonight's Don't Trash Our Treasure. There should be one in there, but I don't count one. It is the weekend after Hurricane Ian ravaged the southern Gulf Coast. While South Florida was spared from Ian's devastation, scientists with FIU's Institute of Environment are making sure water management didn't unleash a different type of catastrophe. We are preparing for Hurricane Ian by lowering our canals throughout the South Florida Water Management District, which are the main arteries and highways to carry water away from communities. To prevent potential flooding of neighborhoods, tens of thousands of gallons of water were discharged from 2,200 miles of canals right into Biscayne Bay. It is the most polluted water in all Miami-Dade County, sent flowing into a bay already at a dangerous tipping point. And with them dumping the waters into the bay, we just want to make sure that those waters aren't disrupting uh, the nice conditions that are currently in our Biscayne Bay. So early Saturday morning, we set out with the FIU research team to collect data and hope for the best. Using this water probe that measures pH, chlorophyll levels, and more importantly, the amount of oxygen in the water. So we can really see the condition of the bay right now in real time. It was the crash of oxygen levels in parts of the northern bay that caused the unprecedented fish kill of 2020 when more than 27,000 marine species suffocated to death during that hot week in August, spiked by an overload of deadly nutrients caused by too much pollution. In the bay is very vulnerable, it's very fragile right now because of all the pollution that's already in it. And so adding any additional stress on the bay can push it over the edge. But Ian brought more than eight inches of rain to Miami-Dade. Oh my God! Tropical storm force winds that cooled the bay water and a strong Florida current that drove fresh ocean flows into the watershed. So with the hurricane, the winds, I feel like the water is sloshing back and forth. The oxygen levels look okay. Indeed, the bay caught a break. Temperature is 27.47. The dissolved oxygen today is really, really nice. But not all of it. This map from the data collected Saturday shows two recurring hotspots with consistently lower oxygen levels, the Biscayne Canal and the Little River. So right now we're at the mouth of the Little River Canal. This is one of the dirtiest bodies of water in all Miami-Dade County, full of those deadly nutrients that cause those dissolved oxygen levels to crash at the mouth of the outfall. And every time water management has to open the flow into the bay, there is the potential for devastating consequences. Oxygen here in the Little River is 25%. This type of dissolved oxygen is not sustainable for our bay. The oxygen zapped by too many nutrients in the canal caused by sewage breaks, fertilizer runoffs, and dirty stormwater. But the big killer, more than 300 properties along the river are still on septic tanks, the majority of them failing. We all have to say yes, we're willing to have our roads torn up. We're willing to make a sacrifice to get off of our septic systems and into sewer systems and clean up the bay. Till then, constant monitoring of the bay is the best defense we have. It's getting hotter again, and this could be the thing that could, with those nutrients that were brought out, this could you know, spark something to happen. And so we're just making sure that we keep an eye on it. And this is on all of us. Everything we do on land impacts our water. That trash you dumped on the street or throughout your car window, the fertilizer you put on your lawn during rainy season, the pet waste you didn't pick up, Every time it rains, all that flows into our canals. Those are all pipelines to the bay. And until we clean up our canals, it will make it very difficult to restore the health of the watershed and bring back our seagrasses. Getting our homes off septic, so important. For more info on Miami-Dade's Connect to Protect program, scan that QR code there on your screen. It'll take you right to the link on the Don't Trash Our Treasure section on Local 10.
Com. I sound like a broken oh. record, but it keeps, you know, people don't make that connection. That do, what they do on land, no matter how far they are from the bay, impacts the quality of our water. I think it's always an important reminder, and I think what was so fascinating about your piece is, obviously we're lowering these canals for a good reason. We have a storm coming, but everything has an impact. It's all just everything. a domino effect, and it continues and continues. Yeah. we got to stop it somehow. So we have to do our part to yep. make sure that we're not dumping all that waste into our canals. Give it a chance to breathe and exactly. bring life. Exactly, so important. Oh.